If you stepped outside today, you probably noticed there was a little bit of haze across the area, and that's because we have the African continent, some of the dust from there, visiting Central Texas. Now, this happens yearly as we start to get high pressure out here across parts of the Atlantic. Of course, clockwise flow, that starts to steer that dust right into our area. So plume number one moving in right now through the Gulf of Mexico. And then there's another one out here. Another thing this helps do is it suppresses tropical activity in the Atlantic when this happens. So we will have some air quality concerns out there over the next few days in the moderate category. This is from the TCEQ and it looks like that we will have that dust around all week long to go along with these hot temperatures we have across the area. So your heat threats out there, looks like heat index values will probably be just below heat advisory criteria, the 100 to 104 range each afternoon. So we're not at the high range, but we're definitely still there for some dehydration and heat illness problems if you don't take care of yourself because highs over the next few days probably gonna hang out around 100. We'll go 100 on Tuesday, 99 Wednesday, 100 Thursday, 101 on Friday, and maybe the upper 90s as we head into Father's Day weekend going into early next week around 101. So for tonight, temperatures will be falling down into the 70s, right around 76 to 78 for most of us. Then tomorrow, highs will be in the upper 90s to near 100. So again, I think we passed the peak of this particular heat wave, but it's still going to be hot with highs getting close to 100 each afternoon this week. And of course, we have the dust to contend with as well with highs again 100 uh, degrees and that will continue all the way into the weekend. We'll go about 98 99. There is a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm on Saturday. It's a slight chance, but at least it's something else to talk about because other than that, it stays hot, folks.